hi so this is actually my second time recording this video because the first time i recorded it it was just a jumbled mess i was talking all over the place so here i am redoing the video <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin. I'm currently a freshman at the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I post videos of week in my life, um, vlogs, and hopefully more drawing videos in the future. So just a quick overview of what this video is going to be about. It is mainly just going to be a reflection on how my first quarter at SCAD went, and I'm going to explain the quarter system as well because I get a lot of questions on what is the quarter system, what are your classes like, how long are your breaks, and this and that. So I'm going to explain the quarter system and I'm going to explain how my first quarter at SCAD went. To start off, when most people hear the word quarter, they think four because, you know, quarter, four quarters makes a dollar. Uh, SCAD does have four quarters, but no, I do not need to be in school all year long. I only go to school for three quarters at a time and I just chose to do fall, winter, spring quarter so I can have my summers off. Yes, I can go to school during the summertime and graduate early, but personally, I need to have summers off so I can work and make money. The quarter system. Each quarter is 10 weeks long and three quarters is the average time that people spend in school. So 10 times three is 30 weeks of school. Now with your semester system, you have two semesters and each are 15 to 16 weeks long. So semester system to quarter system, I'm still in school the same amount of time. It's just different, wide, like week wise, it's just different. As I said, each quarter is 10 weeks long. We have midterms five weeks in and finals at the end. So everything is a little more quick paced you know you start school and five weeks later you're already having midterms now personally for SCAD as a university we do not have classes on Friday we only have classes Monday through Thursday and each class you take only meets twice a week and because you only meet twice a week each class is two and a half hours long because our quarter system we only take three classes a quarter totaling to 15 credit hours so in order to get those 15 credit hours we are in school for two and a half hours for each class now two and a half hours may seem like a really long time but it's actually not that bad having a two and a half hour drawing class is actually really nice your professor may lecture for the first 30 minutes and then give you two hours to just work on your project or anything of the sorts being on the quarter system we actually get more credit hours than students on the semester system. Uh, I know average students on the semester system take about 16 to 18 credit hours per semester, so totaling anywhere from 32 to 36 credit hours a year. On the quarter system, we take 15 per quarter, and since we're in school for three quarters, that's 45 credit hours a year, and at SCAD, we need 180 credit hours to graduate. So. It's a lot of credit hours. As for breaks on the quarter system, our Thanksgiving break and winter break are combined into one big long winter break, which splits up fall and winter quarter. So this year, our fall quarter ended November 14th and winter quarter starts January 6th. So we, this year we had a seven week break and it seems like it's a very long time. It's a month and a half that you're at home and you're kind of just chilling. As for between winter and spring quarter, we get about 10 days. That's just our spring break. Uh, this year it is March 13th to March 22nd and spring quarter starts March 23rd. So spring break is a little bit shorter, a little less turnover time between winter and spring quarter, but we get to stay down in Savannah and we don't have to leave the dorms. Because we start late, we don't start till September, and we have a super long winter break. We are actually not done until May 28th. That is our last day this year. Um, and it varies from year to year, depending on when we start, when break is, when spring break is, and so on. So that's all I really have to say about how the quarter system works. Now we're gonna get into 
how my first quarter at SCAD went. To start off, I did really well my first quarter in college. I got all A's and I did really well in all my classes obviously like work-wise I didn't stress too much I wasn't like having mental breakdowns so it went really well for me and then again it does vary from person to person like I know people who were stressing and having a hard time getting their work done but you just need to learn to manage your time well and get your work done on time that way you have free time on the weekends and you're not rushing to get things done last minute at SCAD we actually get a lot of work I talk to people and they think I don't have a lot of work because I'm in school only 10 weeks at a time and they're just like you know you go to art school you don't get a lot of work and in reality we do I never have tests I never have quizzes I don't really have homework we just get project after project and it's due every week to week and a half so your homework is to work on that project and have it done by critique day so I personally um I've never really taken a formal art class in high school I took AP art my senior year and that was it and I took art in elementary and middle school so starting college I was really nervous to you know take art classes for the first time in forever and you know manage my time but I managed my time really really well I got all my work done on time I was never stressing to get it done and my projects turned out really great and I got really good grades on everything and although I go to art school I don't take all art classes SCAD still requires you to take a gen ed class whether it be from English to history to math to science everybody's required to take public speaking as well Last quarter I had English and I was really nervous because English is not my best subject and you know college English can kind of be intense but it was really chill. The professor was awesome. We just read some books and wrote a lot of essays and then next quarter I'm taking public speaking which I'm kind of nervous for but hopefully it's not too bad and then throughout my time at SCAD I do have to take five history classes because art history and my major but overall, I don't have to take any math or science classes because of AP scores and transfer credits. So if you're in high school right now, take AP classes, take those dual enrollment classes, get those credits so you don't have to take them in college. Overall, though, I had a amazing first quarter at SCAD. I am super excited to finish off my freshman year and spend the rest of my college career down at SCAD and I'm really enjoying my time and meeting amazing people. It's a beautiful city and it's just a nice environment to be in overall and learn. As for what's coming next year and what I'm going to be uploading from here on out, I'm hoping to do more college vlogs and week in my life. So like I did for fall quarter, I did week in my life for fall quarter. So I'll do one for winter and one for spring. I'm also hoping to upload more drawing videos so you guys can see my progression on my drawing and how I'm getting better throughout my time at SCAD. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of like a sit down, let's chat kind of video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and like this video.